Hey everyone, happy, excited and grateful. Filled with these mixed feelings, I am here to break the stereotypes of human resource management. My name is Siksha Rathod and today I will be talking about human resource management with artificial intelligence. So to begin with, we all have heard about human resource management at some point of time. But what is that one thing which comes in our mind when we say HR? Recruitment, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Human resource management is having recruitment as a part of it. But we have most of the times heard that females trying to pursue their MBA are suggesting to take HR as their majors. Now, when asked why, the straightforward answer is because HR is simple. You don't need to work more. You just need to sit in one place and do recruitments. You don't even need to move out of your office and have any schedules. Well, that's not true. Human resource management is equivalent to any other domain in an organization. When I deep dived into this domain, I understood that most of them who speak about human resources don't even know what exactly HR means. Let us understand what exactly human resource management consists of. Imagine that we are the HR of an organization. We will start our process with Posting the job requirements. As we post the job requirements, the further process is screening and getting the candidate on board as the employee. As we have the candidate on board as an employee, further we start with the training and development session. Developing the employee equals to developing the organization. And so this is the very important step that needs to be taken. After which, we need to understand that how is the employee relation and satisfaction. We need to know, is the employee satisfied with the culture and environment of our organization? With which, we also need to understand how are the employees satisfying and profiting our organization, which we understand with the help of appraisal strategy. Appraisal is a strategy which is different for different organizations. But plays a very important role to keep a track on the employee. Here, we need to understand that appreciating an individual is very important because this helps them work more than what is expected. And so, appreciating our employees plays a very important role as and when needed. Compensation and benefits is one of the ways through which we can empower and motivate our employees. Compensation is a very important role which has been played in the life of employees. Now, we never know that an employee is going to stay for a shorter period of time or for a longer period of time with our organization. But still, we need to invest our time, energy and a huge expenditure of the organization in the employee. Here, if we select an erroneous candidate, then it may lead a huge loss to the organization. So being an HR, following every step and selecting the perfect fit is very important. The HR develops talent and fosters the future leader. A long process, right? Now let us understand during this process, what are the challenges faced by the HR? In today's world, there is a huge demand for talent. And in today's connected world, it has been quite easy to plunder other organizations' talent. So here comes the leadership skills. If you are a good leader, then you don't have to fear about this plundering. But if you are not being trusted by your team, then they won't coordinate with you. If you are not showing respect towards each of them, they won't respect you back. And if there is this unsatisfactory behavior between you and the employees, then the employees leaving the organization decrease. And this causes a, a reduced impact on the organization. Now, here we need to understand psychology. Psychology is quite a thing which, is, which has been thought by others as a simple thing. But being human, understanding other human is not that easy. Psychology is a bridge between two people having completely different thoughts. 
here we need to understand that to show respect, to understand other human and to make them understand you, you need to practice unbiased behavior. You need to have non-judgmental thinking. May it be male or female, younger or elder. Each of them should be respected equally. Each of them should be treated and given equal opportunity. Then is when you and them be together and work in an organization. Now, understanding the challenges with a small example. Just imagine that you are the HR of an organization. You have just completed a recruitment process and got that perfect fit for the position required. You mail the candidate stating that you have been selected and please submit the remaining documents to complete the procedure. You receive a reply from the candidate stating that I request for a face-to-face -face interaction. Now you get a bit confused but still accept it and call the next day. Now the next day candidate arrives, knocks your door and now is standing in front of you. Looking at the candidate, you get a bit confused, shocked and shattered. You understand that the person in front of you is a transgender. Never faced this situation before. Sitting in your own place, your comfort zone, your office, still you're completely uncomfortable. Not able to understand what should be the next step. You get, you go completely blank. The candidate understands your situation and speaks up saying, it's okay if you reject me. Well, being an HR, that is not what you should do. Just get a thought and do the action is not applicable. You should always keep in your mind that your actions are going to react on your organization. This impact can be huge. You should always have a second thought and then act every situation. Somehow stammering, trying to grasp everything, you speak up, please leave your document and end up saying, I'll get back to you soon. The candidate submits the documents and leaves. As soon as the candidate leaves, you rush out to your higher authorities. Why? To understand the rules, regulations and laws of your organization. Now, in different situations, there are different laws and rules which are compulsory to be followed. Every organization has different rule set. The HR has been expected to be thorough with rules and regulations of their organization. Mind it, they keep on updating and so does the HR needs to. This is what the whole process consists of. Now, Tell me what not have we seen in this profession. Responsibilities, daily interaction, various training sessions held inside as well as outside the organization. Working on huge projects, knowledge of psychology, study of rules, regulations and laws. At least now, I believe that we won't say human resource management is just recruiting. Now let us understand what is the future of HR. We know that today the world is driven with technology. Technology has given us various solutions for many crucial things. I believe that science has shown us the path to live longer, whereas technology has shown us the path to live better. And we are not going to be apart from this technology. So, let us understand how this technology impacts human resource management. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been studied for decades and now has entered the public domain. New technologies has made AI quite adaptable for organizations. We know that a huge amount of data has been collected every second by all the organizations. This data has been collected from social media, employee data, and various platforms. Handling this data manually is the toughest task. Here is where artificial intelligence can really help. If we think about particularly the human resource department, 
then an individual screening hundreds of interviews, taking hundreds of resumes and screening them for the further process is really very hectic. Sometimes this may also lead in really losing out some creative talent. If we think about AI in this field, in talent acquisition, then we can feed the algorithm in such a way that the algorithm will screen the resumes and the people having only that particular skill set which has been required for our position will be further passed to the HR. The rest one will automatically be rejected. This is where it will be a huge difference doing it manually and doing it with the help of an algorithm. Next, we can also make this use in development. Now, training and development, we know is a very crucial part. How is this going to help? Machine learning and NLP, that is natural language processing. This is what can help us make the algorithms. We will feed the information into it and they will run and give you the best results. In development, it will guide you which individual is needing which kind of trainings. This will make the process quite easier for the HR and the HR will be able to concentrate more on employee development rather than screening process or which employee needs which kind of training. Now, how are we going to do this? What are we having with us? Data. Data is the most valuable asset of any organization. Using this data precisely wherever needed, we can get the best results out of it. Now, if we are understanding each and everything, then why aren't we doing it? Huge organizations such as Amazon are using these techniques. But this should reach to every small organization. Then where is it lacking behind? What are the challenges faced here? Employees. Employees think that feeding their information to the algorithm may lead to leakage of their information. This leak of information isn't appropriate in their thought. But this won't happen. There is a proper method for this to take place. Privacy concern is one of the reasons. Next, AI projects in HR domain are not given that importance because HR is seen as a small domain and AI projects are huge, which are not equivalent to the HR domain. And so they are with the but in spite of all this, the HR has been considered to be highly tech savvy. The HR should have the complete knowledge of technology. But if we are thinking the HR should be technologically driven, then the HR system should also be technologically driven. If they go hand in hand, then it will be huge. Artificial intelligence and human resources together are a great match. This change will be huge. We need to keep in mind that if we need to stand strong, our base should be strong. And the HR exactly works on making the base strong for the organization to reach their vision and mission. The toughest part being an HR is sometimes they need to be the lawyer, the judge, and the handler. And we need to think about them.